Okay, here we are given a is equal to 1400 times 2 to the negative 3t, and we're going to see if this is an exponential growth or decay situation. Well, don't just look at the basis 2 and then just say a is an exponential growth. No, because we also have to pay attention to the exponent, especially when we have a negative. Check this out. Here we have this negative 3, right? Well, let's rewrite this as 1400. And then let's give the negative 3 to the 2 first. So let me write it as 2 to the negative 3 and then raised to the t's power. And now can we do this? Yes, of course, because I just did that, right? Just kidding. The reason that we can do this is because when we have 2 to a power and then to another power, we can multiply the powers together and we get a negative 3t. And if you look at this backwards, when we have these two things multiplying, you can give the number to the base first and then raise to the t's power like that. And now, what's 2 to the negative 3? Well, 2 to the negative 3 is just 1 over 2 to the 3, which is just 1 over 8. Therefore, as you can see, this is just 1400 times 1 over 8 and then raised to the t's power. So, is this exponential growth or decay? It's a decay because the base right here is in between of 0 and 1. Therefore, I will just say this is exponential decay. Yeah. And now, let me just sketch a graph for you guys real quick. When we have exponential decay, this right here is a starting value. And that's 1400, let's say, somewhere here. And the graph will just look like this. Right, because there's no plus or minus any numbers at the end. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. And this is the starting 1400. And especially when we're talking about t, usually we don't pass the negative side because t is usually for time. So this right here is the graph for that. And you can see a few things about this, like the exponential decay. Vertical, horizontal, asymptote, and things like that, and yeah, the limit, but not the shape, definitely. That's it.